So it's just a few months until the World Cup in Russia and every England fan is dreaming of a second World Cup but are really hoping not to get embarrassed by the likes of Panama after a defeat to Iceland in the Euros. It's every kid's dream to play for England or their country and over time we have had some amazing people wear the England shirt like the likes of Wayne Rooney, David Beckham and Bobby Moore. But of course not everyone can be a success. Here are five of the weirdest and strangest England call up. Number five, Zack Knight. Zack Knight spent majority of his career in the level, lower levels of the Premier League as well as some time in the Championship. During his eight year spell at Fulham, many eyebrows raised when in 2005 Knight was included in Sven Goran Eriksson's England squad and made his debut against. United States coming on at half time during the Three Lions 2 1 win. Knight made his one and only start for England against Colombia three days later in America against Colombia, England winning that one 3 2. Knight never made another appearance again for England and went on to have lengthy spells at Aston Villa and Bolton Wanderers before moving to the MLS joining the Colorado Rapids. Number four, Joey Barton. Joey Barton's career has been very up and down. After breaking into the Manchester City first team in 2006, the Manchester City midfielder got his first England call up in February 2007. Many were shocked to hear Barton had got called up for England despite all of the problems he has had at Manchester City, including storming out of the stadium after being left out of the squad, stubbing a cigarette out on a youth teamer's face and breaking of someone's leg on a night out, just to name a few. Barton made his debut in 2007 for England against Spain, who would a year later go on to win the Euros. That night, England lost 1-0, with Barton coming on with just 10 minutes to go. However, just a few months later, Barton assaulted fellow player Usman Darbo and would never play for Manchester City or England ever again. Number 3. Kevin Davis. Striker Kevin Davis is best known for his physical playing style in the Premier League with Bolton Wanderers. Davis played 9 Premier League seasons with Bolton and in his best season came in 2009-10 where Davis scored 12 league goals, his best ever return, and his first international break of, that, of the next season, Davis was a shock inclusion in Fabio Capello's squad. He made his debut against Montenegro in a European qualifier playing the last 15 minutes could, but could not break the deadlock with the game finishing 0-0. Davis was the oldest player to play for England for 60 years. Number 2. It's David Nugent. When you think of David Nugent, you think of a championship striker and that is where he has spent most of his career with sides such as Preston, Leicester City and now currently he is at Derby County. During his spell at Preston Championship he managed to get his first and only cap as an England player. Replacing Darren Bent in the England squad, Nugent made his debut against Andorra getting the final 10 minutes and managed to become the third player in England history to have the record of one cap and one goal. A Jermaine Defoe shot was destined to the net, but David Nugent hammered home to get his first England goal. Later Nugent said how proud he was of his one cap, one England goal for England ratio, which he still has and probably will always have. Number 1 Jay Bothroyd 35-year-old Bothroyd is currently playing in the J-League in Japan, where he has been for the last four years, and I bet many England fans have forgotten that he played for England. After spells with the likes of Coventry, Charlton and Wolves, it was in Wales with Cardiff City where Bothroyd really found his form, averaging one goal every three games. It was during his final season with Cardiff that Capello once again did one of the strangest call-ups in England history. Not only did Jay Bothroyd manage to get called up for England, he even managed to get on the pitch during a 2-1 defeat against France at Wembley. Bothroyd played the last 20 minutes. Whilst England had Jay Bothroyd up front for them, France had Karim Benzema. Is it any, any wonder that England 
failed to get the victory. Bothroy currently has the record for the last championship player to play for England, a record that he could hold on for, for a while. For anyone that we've missed out who should be on the list, let us know below. Don't forget to subscribe below for more and if you like the video, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Mike and I'll see you soon.